Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a first impression on the new Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. I give you guys my opinion and thoughts on the whole drama shade range situation and I let you guys know how I like the foundation so just keep on watching. So first off I just want to discuss the shade range that Tarte came out with. Honestly like I know you guys have probably heard this a million times or even like read it online a million times or even thought about this a million times but honestly there's no excuse for Tarte to only come out with three darker shades and like what was it like 10 lighter shades it's just not fair it's not nice at all and I just feel like they shouldn't have launched anything unless they had a full shade range it kind of just makes me not even want to use Tarte anymore because I know that some of my followers probably want to try out this foundation. They are curious about it. They are so excited about it. And then to just not even have, like, their shade is just so sad in a way. Like, how depressing is that to think, like, when they announced that they were coming out with this foundation and then you got really excited, just like I got really excited. I feel like a ton of people that are obsessed with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer were probably so excited, including myself. And, I mean, I had a shade, hopefully, fingers crossed. But just thinking about going on their website to order the foundation and not even having a selection to choose from is just so, like, it's kind of heartbreaking. Like, that is just unacceptable to me like I just don't understand what Tarte was thinking in this process clearly they don't have anyone on their team that is dark skinned because wouldn't someone on their team that has a little darker of complexion be like oh like can we include some darker shades so at least I can try it out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is even behind their company now? Like, who is even part of their management team? I just, it baffles my mind, especially being a business management, um, uh, what am I? major there we go it just makes me feel like Tarte is very shady they're very disrespectful and I don't know I don't know they're just like I just don't get it it's 2018 every single person should be treated equally okay the only question that I have is why and I'm pretty sure every single person wants that same exact answer did they not think about it did it just slip their mind did they do it intentionally did they do it to get like this backlash that they're getting so everyone starts talking about them like i just don't understand and i'm very 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 sorry for those of you that they don't have a shade for you, I am extremely sorry. So that is my opinion on the whole shade range thing. I am 100% agreeing with all of you darker skin tones that this is completely effed up. Effed up. And I'm sorry if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, if you just Google the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and the shades, then you will see... The shade range absolutely sucks. So, let's get into this foundation review. I understand if you don't want to watch this video, then you can go ahead and just click off of this video. I have so many videos out there that can help you out or entertain you in a different way. I got the matte foundation because I do have oily skin. I felt no need for me to get the hydrating one because, girl, my oils pop through like crazy. So this is like what the box looks like. It's just like every other foundation box they have. And then, ooh, excuse me. And then they have the matte and then the shade. So I picked up light neutral. That was the one that I could see matching me the best online. It might not be perfect, but I'm not perfect at doing that. I suck at it, actually. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really just a glass bottle. It's really heavy duty. It has like the same aspect of like the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, concealer. It comes with, doesn't even have, oh, 1.01 fluid ounces. And yeah, so pretty much this is just supposed to blur your smooth, 
blur your smooth, blur your skin out, um, make you look flawless, have a matte finish. It's very full coverage. So yeah, all that stuff that I like in a foundation. Um, personally because of my skin type so um, let's get into this so I'm gonna start off just by prepping my skin like always just to give the foundation a fair shot so I'm gonna first spray my face with this Mario Badescu facial spray I love this and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer I love these both they work great with my skin so that's what I'm gonna use today I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend out this foundation today just because I have not been liking brushes lately. They just make my face look too cakey and just too much. So now I'm just taking a few pumps of that primer, the Fenty Beauty one. And I just rub it in between my fingers to warm it up. Um, sometimes I apply this on top of like the spray when it's still wet if I'm in a rush but whenever I'm not in a rush and like I have time to do my makeup and like time to record I let it dry down pretty much and then I go in with my like regular primer so this primer is just a really pore filling smoothing primer it's really nice on the skin because it kind of feels like lotion so it's like not hard to blend out or smooth onto the skin it's really nice and I actually really like the smell of this primer. So I need to ask you guys, what videos do you want to start seeing from me? Um, I know a few months back I did start vlogging, but I just didn't like the quality in the footage that I was doing. So I don't know if you guys want me to start getting like saving up for a vlogging camera so I can like actually have like nice footage or like fashion um like accessories like what do you want me to see like do you want me to just do like random videos I don't know I feel like like beauty is a big part of my life but I'm kind of just like I don't know I'm not really a makeup artist so I'm kind of just getting discouraged because I'm kind of liking my makeup more on the natural side now like nothing crazy around the eyes something really simple and natural so, I don't know. I'm kind of just, like, changing as I get older, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really into those crazy eye looks anymore, which that's okay because I never claimed to be an MUA, and I'm, I mean, yeah. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see because I'm really interested to hear. It does have, like, that Dofa applicator type of application, which I actually really like these because I feel like just makes my life easier. That shade doesn't look half as bad as I thought it was going to be. We're all striped up like a zebra, the usual. And I'm just going to take my black beauty blender. So I got this beauty blender for Christmas and it looks more like an egg. Like it doesn't look as much like the beauty blender, like the normal one. The normal beauty blender looks more like this and this one's more like an egg. But, it, I mean, it works the same. It feels the same. I just thought I would tell you guys because it's funny. It just looks, it reminds me of an egg. <laughs> so I'm just going to pounce this into the skin. Well, right off the bat, it doesn't really have a smell that I can smell just by blending it out. But this color is so yellow toned. Oh my goodness. I'm a cool undertone, like an extreme cool undertone, so, I mean, this is light neutral, right? But they didn't have any shades for cool undertones, so. So foundation is all blended out. It blended out really nicely, but I hate this color. Like, you guys can probably even tell. Like, look at that difference. That is not cool. I mean, I'm very fair, but this is just so yellow toned, I... I don't even like this foundation right now. Can you guys see how bad my skin looks right now? It's absolutely disgusting. Huh. Like, in my nose, it looks gross already. The second I put this foundation on, it looked gross. Um, I mean, it's just emphasizing all of my texture everywhere like I have little bumps down here just from acne like tiny acne and it's emphasizing those like crazy and like around my mouth right here it's creasing really badly already and it just doesn't look good 
right on my forehead right here actually right in between my eyes it's starting to like break up a little bit wow wow so I don't think I'm gonna continue with this video I already have my thoughts on it I hate the shade that I have there was no other shade that pretty much looked like mine online they were all very yellow toned I don't think I saw any cool tones um, pretty much all warm and neutral. I was honestly really excited for this foundation just because I thought the shade wasn't going to be bad on me. I thought it was going to look gorgeous because the Tarte Shape Tape is literally stunning. But no, it's not up to my standards to have them take my whatever amount of money that I spent on it. What was it, like 40 and then plus shipping and then plus tax. It probably came to like $50, and this is not a $50 foundation. It's not worth it to me. I do not stand by this foundation. I think they just really just tried to come up with a foundation just to please us and then just threw it out and didn't look at, like, I feel like they didn't even test it out. I feel like they didn't even think about anything with this foundation. So they pretty much just screwed themselves because I'm getting my money back for it. I don't like it at all. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Tarte um, foundation first impression. It was going to be a first impression and wear test, but it didn't happen. And that's okay. Not every foundation that I'm going to test out is going to be up to my standards. So, um, I really told you guys my true feelings on the company and the foundation. So, definitely let me know what you thought down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave to see more videos from me that are better than this. Um, once again, I'll put some up here. Hit that thumbs up if this helped you out, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Oh,